on YouTube. Man, I'm tired. It's been a crazy week. School is so close to being done. One week from today, I will be done with school. Today we're talking about um, bisexual privilege in heteronormative spaces, a uh, subject I think is really interesting. Um, last week we talked about biphobia um, in queer spaces, um, and you know this week we're talking about bisexual privilege. You know, bisexuality I think for a lot of people is seen as novelty. It's seen as something that is uh, that is a fantasy that you know people will do when they want to be naughty. Um, and it's not seen as a legitimate uh, way to be for a lot of people. For people in the queer community, I think it might be hard because they don't understand how someone might still possibly be a part of a heteronormative space. And I think in the heteronormative spaces, um, they might not see it as something that is um, natural or something that is um, normal. I mean, you know, we have this perception that someone is going, you're, you have one person in this world that you're going to end up with for the rest of your life, and that there's no one else in this world who can match that one person. Um, and I think bisexuality really plays against that, because it says, okay, well, I can fall in love with multiple types of people. It depends on environment, it depends on where I am, it depends on circumstance, it depends on, you know, who those people are, when I meet them, what time of my life I meet them. I mean, sure, a lot of times people end up with one person for the rest of their life, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't other people that, given different circumstances, they could have fallen in love with. And I think bisexuality really, um, really kind of goes against the grain of those ideas that there's that one person in this world who is for you. Um, because for bisexual people, it's like, well, you know, there isn't. There's, there's, you know, like, there's, mul there's multiple... Um, avenues that my life can go down. I'm not going to limit myself to one, you know, one half of the human race. I, I give, you know, people equal opportunity or, you know, whatever. Um, but in a lot of straight and heteronormative uh, spaces, it's seen as, you know, fantasy, as um, sluttiness. You know, the girls making out with other girls in the bars. Uh, you know, guys being all obsessed with, like, lesbian porn, uh, things like that. Uh, I read this open letter on Craigslist once by this, um, gay man in, in Seattle, and he was talking about going to straight bars, um, and having married men come up to him and say, well, I'm straight, but my wife and I like to experiment. Like, you know, people really see, um, queer sexualities as fantasy, and I think bisexuality might even, maybe even more so, because there is still the element of, well, you might be able to still play into a, um, an opposite gender pairing, but, you know, you have that, there's the fantasy that you can end up with someone of the same gender. Ooh, isn't that hot? Um, and I, you know, I don't think there's anything wrong with sexual fantasy, but when that's when all it becomes for people, especially in heteronormative spaces when that's all it becomes, there really is the absence of a discussion on what it means to be a bisexual person. Um, I guess bisexuals do have a level of privilege in heteronormative spaces, but it's it kind of comes at a cost. It comes at a cost um, of a lack of discussion of the real issues regarding sexuality. So, that's my bit. Let's, uh, I hope that Des can post tomorrow. I'm pretty sure she can. We're both on the same final schedule. Tomorrow is our uh, is our dead day. There's no there's n there are no classes tomorrow. However, study, 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 study. We're studying away. So if we don't post in the next week or so, if I don't post next Wednesday, Wednesday she doesn't post tomorrow. Don't judge us. We're just we're trying our best. But we love you. We love you.